Holmes Faharingi has been working with Ofcom for the past 18 months to tackle pirate radio. Beginning of 2014, we had 19 um, stations transmitting from our roofs. We are on the Hillcrest Estate here in Highgate, and the uh, blocks behind me are repeatedly being targeted by pirate radio. And if you look at the very top, there is two pirate radio aerials in place. The pirates uh, free climb that uh, particular mast. We can do so, we have to employ steeplejacks and the cost is exceptionally high and very, very dangerous for them. And since January 2015, there are no stations remaining and no transmissions have been sustained since then. We benefit from this partnership working by significantly reducing the cost to tackle pirate radio through this very proactive and more preventative approach. So what we're seeing now um, in inner London is a displacement effect where the good work that the councils and the housing associations are conducting on the high-rise tower blocks are forcing the pirate stations, the illegal broadcasters, onto the lower-rise blocks, whereas normally they would install on tower blocks 20, 22, 23 storeys high, and every block in this row has a pirate installation on its roof, and they're all only five storeys high. But this is an example of the effects that the good work on the high-rise tower blocks is having. Hackney Homes, in partnership with Ofcom, working with the police to remove these masks that are causing annoyance and nuisance to our residents. The pirate that's on this block is gaining their electricity supply from this electric box. It goes round into the eaves of the roof um, and then it goes out onto this slanted roof that we've got here and the aerial is attached to the chimney stack and the transmitter is located down the chimney stack. Obviously we're unable to get that because of its location. But what we can do is disconnect the power and remove the aerial which is what the guys are up there doing now.